Hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl back with another video and as you can tell from the title, I am trying some new makeup. We are trying new hair products, new makeup, and I want to give you the 411 on it all. We are talking the Blendiful. We're talking about Beauty Bakery palette. We're talking about minteds, powders, blushes. We're talking about Makeup Geek highlighters. We're talking about ColourPop, bronzer. By the way, you guys picked this for me. So if you don't like anything, you, it's your fault. No, I'm just kidding. No. You guys picked this out on the YouTube community tab. So definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you get all of that. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's jump right in. Let's go down the list really quick. So let's go down the list really quick. Let's do a really quick recap on this stuff. Um, on these products let's talk about hair first cleansing milk I do like I do have some thoughts on this in terms of the packaging um, it was hard to to distribute the product in my hand and I actually had to pull off the cap and really because it's thicker so I wish I think they're planning on improving it the packaging but putting it in a tube that's what I heard or a pump or something like that but that's the only thing I have about this. I think that is phen phenomenal. Detanglage was a dream. Loved it. The Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Phenogreek Mask Treatment by Sotanicals. Love it. First impression. Yes. Could tell a different. Yes. I did keep it on for like an hour or so, but it's an overnight treatment. You can even wear use it overnight. I loved it. It makes you smell like Blue Magic, but Blue Magic hair grease is it smells so good. That, it takes me back to my nostalgic days of getting my hair done. Thumbs up on both of the hair care products. Let's move on to complexion. The Porefessional, I like. I like. It fills in the pores. And if you need something smoothing, and this was not like uh, mattifying. Like too mattifying where I felt all dried out. You know, I didn't feel like grandma putting this on. But um, I really like this. I do have the full size, like I said. But I'm going to use this one first, okay? This is a travel size, but I like it. Like, of course, these are like first impressions. What if I if my thoughts change, I'll definitely let you know. Estee Lauder Double Wear in Spice Sand, perfect shade for me. If you're if you're like NC 42, 44, then that might be a shade that you want to look at. If you have more, if you pull more neutral, you know, I stopped using Cashew. Cashew is 3W2, 3W warm, 3W. This is 4N2. So I went more neutral rather than something with a golden undertone. I went for a neutral undertone. It's perfect for me. Love it. Let's talk about the puff because this is what I use to set the powder. Let's go ahead and talk about the minted powder first. This one is in tan light. I love this. This is great. I thought that this was going to be too light for my skin tone all over my face, but I really do enjoy it. I think I, this is very, very lovely on the face. If I wanted to mix the two, I could. Uh, maybe putting this on my outer perimeter. I might need this in the summer because I do tan. I feel like I tan quite a bit, but maybe I'll use this around the perimeter. But so far, I really like this. The light tan works perfect for me. The medium deep, uh, maybe I'll use this for bronzing. We'll see how I can incorporate this one. But the powder is beautiful overall, and it, I don't feel tight. And sometimes powders can make you feel dry and just like tight. Um, but I do believe that the Pixie, the Glow Mist helped with like everything fusing together. If you want something like uh, Fix Plus, but with a like, like a little glow to it, this is great. And I feel like it did, it let everything sink in without disturbing the makeup. Let's talk about the Tati Puff. I talked about like, I, I think that it would be great that it has something capsulated encapsulated like some type of packaging or compact so you could take it on the go it I, I think that this is a beautiful product I really saw the difference like oh 
I am. This is what's crazy is that I use this on clients, not this product because I haven't used it on my clients yet. I'm, I'm going to get a separate one for my clients, but um, I like the shape, but I have not pressed in my powder in so long and I like this a lot. Like this is something like I could tell the difference just from the complexion, but I love how even like pressing this, like blending, using it this way, it just made everything look so blended and cohesive. And I see, I have seen the lot. Love this under the under eye. I did like using this to press in my, to press in the primer. I felt like that I, I was pressing it in place rather than smearing it all over my face like lotion is which is what I usually do well I mean I press it into it but you know sometimes you can miss areas when you do things like that so I think that that was a plus but I do believe if I could only say two things is something to encapsulate it especially if you're going to take the bot the this as a uh, as a to-go I think that this would be perfect for to go, but it needs to be in a compact. And I would love for Tati Beauty to make something to put it in. Of course, I could like probably put it in something, but it's just so much more convenient. You feel more comfortable. Maybe even having something like this, like a compact with a mirror in it. What? Life changing, I feel like. Just because you have your mirror, you already have things to put, touch it up. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know, level up. The other thing is to incorporate instructions into the packaging. Love the packaging. I feel like that this was very like conscious. Like, you know, th you know, this, this is something that you're going to take out and you're going to throw away the packaging. And I felt like that this is like so cute, so nice, so chic. I felt like getting a gift like in a package like that. You know what I mean? Let's move on to the blush. Minted, you did a great job with the blush really pigmented i love the fact that you also have a mirror here because sometimes you want to just you know have something a little bit smaller and yes love the blush makeup geek i mean i'm really liking most of everything that i put on and i really think it's a lot of it is because of the blend blendability but this midnight sun is the perfect shade for someone medium to tan skin tone i feel like and also wants like a gold highlight it's not too beaming. I feel like I could go beam with this. I could go high beam with this. But I love the fact that it's that yellow gold and it is doing something for me. I actually could take some of this and put it on my inner corner, which is something that I want to do. And I want to just, I feel like it's just, it. it's a different type of yellow that brings a beam. You know what I mean? I like that. So, Makeup Geek Midnight Sun, yes. Bronzer, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, ColourPop. Yes, you get an A. Because, again, I will say, I feel like because I pressed the powder on my face and it was locked and loaded, it allowed everything, I, nothing went on patchy. It went on really, really smoothly because of how I pressed on the powder. I will say that because a lot of times I will get drag and uh, I won't get a cohesive, like I'll have to keep blending. But if you notice, like I kept blending and layering and I feel like pressing the powder into my skin made the, made the blendability a lot easier. And then going back with the Blendiful and blending everything out you know, I could actually blend it even more if I wanted to. But I love like no, there's like no harsh lines on my face. Everything looks smooth, blurred. It still looks like me because, you know, makeup can transform you. But I feel like that my, that, you know, my features are enhanced. I don't look like out of place or out of myself. I really, really like this, including with the Stockholm. I think it looks really nice. The palette by beauty bakery i really like these mats i really like these mats um these mats 
remind me of like right off the top no lie I feel like that these mats remind me a lot of the mats that are in the Tati textured neutrals and it also reminds me of I'm trying to think uh I use some mats I don't know if anybody has used Ofra eyeshadows but they are very very blendable I know nobody talks about that but these shadows remind me of that uh formulation too and the the metallics they're nice I feel like that they're pigmented but I think it's something about the the mattes in this palette that I really really enjoy and it makes me want to hang on to it and figure out if I really want to keep it around even though it doesn't have a mirror because y'all know mirrors are a big thing for me but I really do like the formulation of these mattes like it it's so nice it's so nice I, I, I like all the products I think everybody gets an A today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making it I feel beautiful I feel like that this is what makeup is all about you can play with it you can try it but at the end of the day how do you feel like when you walk out the door I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell to let you know when I'm posting my new videos which are Mondays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. and on Sundays it's at 2 p.m. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video.